Hello, kit heads. We are talking kit, the home of the greatest football kit content for football kit fanatics by football kit fanatics. And we're here again for another episode of Desert Island Kits. I'm double eight as always. And yeah, I'm looking forward to this. If you've not seen this show yet, it's where we've taken a feature from the main podcast, which is now deceased. And we've just revamped it. So we ask a kit collector to name five shirts that they will take on a desert island with them. And then we asked them the hardest question of all at the end of which shirt out of the five that they would like to keep. If they had to choose like some sort of weird Sophie's choice. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just guessing. Uh, but before we get into it, I introduce this week's guest. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. It's free. We are trying to grow and be as big as possible. But we need your help to do that. And if you want to, smash that bell notification as well. So every time you get an episode of this, or full kit rankers, or get to know with Ryan from NI Classic Shirts. You'll you'll know before we do. So, yeah, there's no reason not to do it. Right, let's get this week's guest introduced. I know you can see him, but let me tell tell you a bit about him. <laughs> he's waving. There we go. Uh, he's been on the channel before. He's been on uh, full kit rankers, and he's again another great. You see, this is the thing I love about the the kit community because it, whether you're a a host or you just take photos or just a personality. There's just so many people that do great content out there. And, you know, he's, he's a presenter as well as a great photographer. He's, he's, he's multifaceted in this kit community. Um, and it's Jake Shirts. Hi, pal. Hello, 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 hello. You've, you've said too too many kind words. Uh, I'm going all red now. Mate, you can't tell, so don't worry about it. And this is, again, nothing written. It's all just from the heart, mate. Not from the head. It's all from the heart. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, Mate, thank you so much for joining us for an episode of uh, Desert Island Kits. Oh, well, thank you for having me on. We've talked about doing it for a few few weeks now, so it's nice to finally get on and get these kits sorted and talked about. Absolutely, mate. Um, I, and, you you know, you're one of the, the first people I thought of when I, I was writing a list, com- compiling a list of people. I want to talk and ask about, you know, it's not only asking you to take shirts away. That's just kind of the, the basis of it. It's really digging deep into your, your collection and reasons why you love you know, five shirts from your collection, really. So I'm happy you, you wanted to get involved, really. Oh, well, yeah. Like I say, thank you for having me on. Always, mate, always. So a bit about you, uh, quickly about your collection and stuff. So what's your, your body count at now, mate? What's your, your magic number in terms of shirts? Oh, we've been on a bit of a purge recently. Of the <laughs> cost, of the cost of living crisis and that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 30, between 30 and 40, I think. But weirdly, uh, since sold a, sold a few more. I've actually yeah. started wearing a lot more of them as well. I'm aware. I'm, I'm always surprised. When, I know like a lot of people want to keep it with tags, increase the value and stuff. But I think they're made to be worn. And, and you know, yeah. why, why, why not? You know what I mean? It's one of them. Maybe sometimes they're a great. And do you know what? I love this shirt. And it's got, you know, it's, it's in my top five. So if I was to do my Desert Island kits, this would be there. Not only because it's a great shirt, and you know, I know maybe people think it's a bit overrated for what it is, but I think it's I think it's amazing, and you know, it's actually the shirt I was wearing when my daughter was born, so it even adds even more oh, sentimental. Yeah, oh, even yeah. more sentiment to it. It's terrible for pulls and 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 bubbles, uh, not even mm-hmm. bubbles, just pulls. Have you noticed? Have you got the shirt yourself? I, I've, I've got it. Yeah, I would get it, Albert, to the bottom of my pile yeah. over there. Yeah, but I've got it from. Uh, I don't want to name them. I don't want to put any <laughs> any certain websites in the mud but uh i got it and the sponsor was a bit damaged on it so that was instantly that's before it even came out of the bag so yeah i know i know what you mean it just seemed a bit suspect of damage like yeah i think I, I got it from adidas direct um the store in manchester and i think those shirts from last season i know the united home which i've got it's just it's just the material i think it's really prone to pulls which is mm. really bad and you know i'll still wear it but you think it's one of them where you wear four jumpers because you don't want anything to happen to yeah. it you're so protected, <laughs> you know what i mean Okay, so we'll move on and we'll start to speak about your Desert Island kits. But before we speak and, and find out your five, are there any that have just missed out your list that you feel you may want to give an honorary mention to? Well, it's funny because I was setting up, obviously, for this podcast, put, putting the shirts there behind me, <laughs> yeah. putting the right way. And then I completely, somehow, completely forgot about the 2018 Nigeria World Cup shirt. And I can't, and I, can't I was like... I was honestly, I was going to message you and say, "Can I change it?" Before no, not to mess you around, because just look at it. It's that's brand new with tags as well. So, as oh, you man. said before about taking tags off, yeah, I would. I, I'm not keeping the tags on because I'm going to set on for value in the future. I'm not really bothered about that, but I wouldn't yeah. want to wear it because I'd be too scared to ruin it. So yeah. I might as well just keep the tags on. There's so many fakes of it as well. Yeah. It's weirdly enough as well, like to be a bit 
like geeky and nerdy about it. There's actually two versions of it. On some of the Nike shirts, they come with this circle engineered tag, don't they? Well, some of them have got like the rectangle one. So there is actually, ah. weirdly enough, two versions of it as well. I don't know if it yeah. was like a, a re-release because the stock, like, there's so much interest in it or not. Yeah. But that doesn't yeah. help when you're trying to thingy with fakes and that as well. So No, definitely not. And yeah, any any more honourable mentions from you? Uh, there is the 2006-07 AC Milan away shirt. As a United fan, you'll know Kaka at Old Trafford. Um, That's literally... Yep. The sole reason behind that shirt, probably, and maybe Philip Owen Zaghi scoring two against Liverpool in the Champions League finals. Maybe. Exactly, even better. <laughs> That's the reason I thought you about it when you first. Said it. <laughs> <laughs> no, Kaka at Old Trafford. I know we won the game, but he was unbelievable. Okay, then. So I mean, that's two amazing shirts to miss out on, mate. So I'm expecting some big things from this five now. So let's start with your first shirt, then, please. First shirt is over my right shoulder. Nigeria 1998 World Cup. France World Cup shirt with JJ Okocha on the back. I mean, it's 98, is it, you say? Yeah, France 98, Cup, yeah. yeah. Yeah, mate. I mean, again, Nigeria shirts are, are just something. And throughout history, they've had some absolutely amazing shirts. And that definitely is, is one of them. So, what? yeah, what's your reasoning for, for picking that one? What What it's, is it? Like? I think just Nigeria, I've, I've mentioned before, I love Nigeria shirts. JJ Okocha, a bit of a mini cult hero, really, isn't he? And it's yeah. just... I love. I really like that like template from the '98 World Cup, and I think yeah. with the Nigeria colours, it worked really well. Really but, nice name set as well. On yeah, shirt. when I first started collecting, I think it's one. Of, I got it in like a bundle deal, weirdly enough. So nice. I got it for quite a good price, I'd say. Oh, mate, amazing! What a, what a first pick to start off with. I mean, if you start in there, it can only be going. I know, yeah. You can only be going up. up. <laughs> <laughs> mate, what a great first pick. So yeah, what's your your second shirt then that you've got for us that you would take? Manchester United 1996 97 home shirt, but long sleeved. Oh, mate, come on, long sleeve as well. You know, you look at that for me, I was a big United fan. You're thinking Beckham, you know, with the long sleeves, the, the King, my favorite United player, yeah. favorite ever player, can't now. And you know what? Weirdly, when I look, when I saw it and I saw the long sleeves, Carol Poborski springs to mind. <laughs> but yeah, funnily, well, not funnily, David Beckham, you mentioned the two players, why I've got that shirt. David Beckham yeah. from his own half goal scored in that shirt. Yeah, we And uh, Cantona versus Sunderland, the chip in that shirt. I've actually got a print of that somewhere. Got this from, make sure I get this plug right. Has, does, whatever. Mate, yeah, that's absolutely unbelievable. And, and you know what's funny? I, I never actually think about it because that shirt, it's not actually, it's not one of my favourite United shirts. In fact, I don't really like it that much because I remember having it as a kid and wearing it, the collar, I, I didn't like. Oh, uh, yeah. And I just felt the material felt really odd. But thinking, obviously, can not I be my favourite player? That's the last shirt he ever wore, home shirt mm. he ever wore for United. And really, I should revere it a lot more than, than I do. But, I, I mean, the long sleeves add to that much more with that, that sort I, of pattern on it. I put a post on uh, Instagram with the print and uh, the shirt. And I think yeah. I can't, I can't remember the comment, but the comment said the long sleeves on that shirt just make it completely better. Yeah, absolutely, I'm happy you put some United in there, mate. I have to say. So, <laughs> yeah, moving on to your third shirt, then that you would take away. I'll be very surprised if this shirt, if you ever see this shirt again, or if it ever comes up again, it is the India 2008 home shirt. I believe it's home. I think it is home. I think it is the home shirt. I'm really interested to to find out why this would be a shirt you would take away on a desert island. Well. Weird. Well, if you looked at me, you wouldn't believe that I actually have Indian heritage in my family. So okay. when I first got into collecting, my dad got me a ancestry kit for my birthday so I could oh. see how much it was. Yeah. And Indian obviously came up. So I thought, oh, well, I'm going to make a bit of a M&E challenge about it. There was Scottish, there was Irish and Welsh, weirdly Norwegian, but that must come from the Scottish side. And uh, yeah, India came up. So I thought, oh, you know what? I haven't really seen a lot of Indian shirts about. And so I thought, I'm just going to have a little look on eBay and obviously it's quite a hard shirt to find so I didn't get it off eBay I got it off uh, Sam Football Shirts 101 in the oh, end yeah. so that's actually a pretty good way to, to start collecting shirts I mean mate I think you've got I think you're onto something here that's a great way to start a, a little mini collection I know yeah. I've got I've got Jamaican shirts I've had I Ireland shirts I've got Irish as well England I'm not too much of a fan of so that would mm. uh, I, I, you know I think I, I like the I like the, the away one for the World Cup I think that's quite nice I'd have that uh, I'm, not, so. I'm not a fan really no, I actually, like, I've, got, uh, I've got some England shorts I bought some England shorts so I've got them if that counts maybe <laughs> <laughs> yeah but weirdly enough with the shirt I don't know if it's me but obviously one of the wonders of the world the Taj Mahal I'm sure that badge is kind of styled on it it, it looks a little bit like it at the top yeah, there, yeah. I, don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm just making something out of nothing but yeah definitely no, but, but yeah but, but, for such but, a basic shirt it has a lot of meaning to me so yeah no it's nice we'll overlay it on screen uh, people have a look and let us know in the comments if you think 
Jake's onto something there with uh, it looking like the Taj Mahal. <laughs> no, I mean, that's, I agree, mate. I don't think we'll see that shirt again on Desert Island kits, but I mean, I'm, I'm buzzing you've shone a light on it and for good reason as well, which is, which is really good. Okay, so let's go into your fourth shirt then in the five. Well, as a United fan, you'll obviously appreciate this. 2007 to oh, Warren 2009 as well, but it's from the 2008 Champions League winning team with... Yeah. Mr. Walkout of the stadium himself, Cristiano. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would you say United's best home shirt for the last 20, 20 years? Possibly. Possibly, yeah. If they sorted that uh, taping out on the back where it didn't yeah. come off every time you wash it, then yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back on what I said there. I think the, the shirt the season before was better. The 06, 07. Actually, oh, better. yeah, yeah. Last season's shirt was kind of based on that one, with the shield around the badge. And I whatnot. think yeah, with the little gold. Trim on it. Trim. I, think, I, think yeah. that was perfect. I think that was a perfect shirt. Yeah. Uh, but that, that one, I mean, so many United fans love it. The players that, that obviously wore it, that, that team that some say were better than the 99 team. No, I, I love that shirt. I had that shirt. I've still got that shirt somewhere. The taping has come off. When I went to buy it, I think the season before was Oli Gunn and Solskjaer's last season. And I loved Oli Gunn and Solskjaer as a player. Mm. Obviously, he retired. Yeah. I, think, I think he retired in that, that in, in that seven or eight season. Yeah. I don't think he played. I went and bought the shirt. I wanted to not have a treat. I didn't want. Solskjaer 20 on the shirt. I wanted to do a bit of a tribute to him. I wanted to get 20 and then have Ollie in, it was either white or black lettering, and then yeah. the rest of Legend in the opposite colour. So it said like Ollie Legend and 20. Yeah. And I, where did I go? It was JJB Sports and they won't let me do it. And I was kicked. I was like, oh, why? Really? I was like, what's the problem? It's free black and the rest white. Just let me have it. He's like, no, we yeah. can't do that. I was like, Oh, wow. nice one All right. but then again I think now it probably get brought up on ruined shirts ruined shirts yeah that's exactly yeah. what came to my mind when you said it <laughs> that's what I always think now and I think about it I think yeah I'd be on ruined shirts if, if I did that but yeah that didn't happen but I, that's what I always, when I see that shirt I always think of it I have to say as well the black one the black away yeah. shirt to that is for me one of the best United away shirts of all time didn't get used yeah. enough I was only had it no. for one season as well which really annoyed me but it yeah I mean Middles, Middlesbrough and Sunderland away Ronaldo free kick at Sunderland and yeah. Alfonso Alves masterclass at the Riverside <laughs> I mean your list is is outstanding, I have to say. And I'm, I'm excited to see your last pick that you've got for us. What is it? Tell us. We, we're excited to see. It's funny that you've had uh, Sam on previously because him and Josh used to <laughs> used to get ripped every week for this year. It is <laughs> the Atletico Mineiro Manta de Massa. I mean, yeah, if, if you talk about, you know, cult shirts and ones that cause hysteria, especially on uh, the internet in terms of the, the kit community, this is, I think that it's got to be top five, maybe even top three, I think. You think yeah, probably not for some of the best circumstances, but yeah. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So what is it about this shirt you love so much that you'd want to take it away to the Desert Island? It's weirdly, because I normally only want to buy shirts that have been worn in games. Yeah. That obviously hasn't been worn in the game. But I just remember when I first saw it, it's the OG map shirt as well. Let's just put that out there. <laughs> uh, when it first came out, I just put out a simple tweet trying to show people in the community who might not have seen it to show them it. And then... Yeah, I checked my phone and my Twitter had blown up from people from halfway across the world messaging me, replying, liking, sharing the tweet. I was like, oh, wow. wow. And then every time I got like a little update about it, I'd just innocently share it to try and let people know about the shirt. And then each and every time, it's getting more and more. I've literally, I think I'd sp- spoken to over 100 of their fans about that shirt wow. and their club in general. And then wow. I finally got the shirt. I know some people didn't and what the controversy around that. But once I like shared that I got it, that attention to it and my account on people from brazil which is so weird just <laughs> absolutely skyrocketed i then took it to the lake district just to try and get some nice pictures of it took it like a picture of it on the on the floor captioned it something about needing a map when you're on a hike and then right. their actual official account like tweeted it and whatnot so <laughs> it's just like skyrocketed really right. blew up really so yeah right. just a right. weirdly because the other shirts except for the india shirt probably they've got match memories the india yeah. sentimental but that's just got like from being in like joining the community kind of my shirt i'd say yeah, no, absolutely. Has it has it made you support the club a little? Uh, do you yeah, out for I am. Yeah, yeah, I follow yeah. them on Twitter. And, like, it's obviously because they're in Brazil. They'll most of the, some of their games are played in the dead of the night when I'm in bed asleep. So in the morning, yeah, I'll check yeah. on the check on the scores. Unfortunately, don't think they're doing that well this season compared to last season when they won no. the league. So, but still. Yeah. But no, mate. I mean, thank you so much. That's a, an outstanding collection, and you know, even looking at the shirts that have missed out to the five you've picked for. For varying good, varying different reasons, which is good. It's a nice mix of, of why you've chosen certain shirts. But so yeah. if I had to, if I had to pin you down and, and ask you to pick one to keep, I don't remember you telling me we were going to do this when you asked me to come <laughs> on. Oh. 
Oh, it'd be, it'd, it has to be the uh, Man of Damascus. I thought so, mate. I, I was yeah. I was surprised you even looked around and thought about it. I, I thought it's got to be. Well, I looked at the uh, JJ Okocha whispered something to me. I was like, no, come on. Yeah. Okay. No, that, that's fair, mate. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much again uh, for coming on and sharing your, your collection with us, mate. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you for having me on. And if you are listening, please give uh, Double A and Talking Kit the attention it deserves because it's a great podcast. Oh, mate, yeah. You're too kind. You're far too kind. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, if it is your first time talking kit, be sure to smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. And then make sure you're checking out Jake on Twitter and Instagram. He does some some amazing stuff. Absolutely. Uh, we'll be back very soon with another Desert Island kit. So we'll be finding out which guest from the kit community is going to tell us about their five shirts they will take to a Desert Island with us. Um, we'll see you very soon. And as always, just make sure that you keep talking kit.